Understanding basic dog behaviours is essential for effective communication and interaction with our canine companions. Dogs use eye contact as a communicative tactic, conveying various emotions and intentions. Challenging stares can lead to conflict escalation, if reciprocated, while anxious dogs may avoid eye contact to appease others. This behaviour is inherited from their ancestors and adapted during domestication, allowing dogs to modify their behaviour based on human gaze, showing obedience and emotional understanding. In addition to eye contact, dogs convey emotional states through body movements and postures. Different postures indicate submission, dominance, fear, anxiety or aggression with submissive behaviours used to solicit attention or care. Details such as body size, muscle tension, tail position and ear movement communicate emotional states and intentions, offering valuable insights into our furry friend's feelings. Another fascinating aspect of dog behaviour is their tendency to synchronise behaviours consciously or unconsciously with others. This synchronisation fosters social cohesion not only among fellow dogs but also in human dog interactions. Dogs align their behaviour with owners' movements, speech and emotional cues, creating a reciprocal bond that strengthens the connection between them and their human companions. Vocalisations also play a crucial role in dog communication with barking, conveying information about physical characteristics, familiarity and emotions, growls, whines and other. Vocalisations have context-specific meanings, aiding in the expression of various emotions and needs. What's more, dogs have the ability to understand human words and the emotional content of vocalisations, further enhancing their communication skills. While humans rely primarily on visual and auditory communication, dogs heavily rely on olfactory and tactile communication. Dogs use scent marking behaviour to provide social and contextual information, recognising individuals by scent and using it to communicate with their fellow dogs. Similarly, tactile communication is crucial in dog-dog and dog-human interactions, demonstrating dominance, maintaining social bonds and fostering social cohesion. Physical interaction positively affects both humans and dogs, reducing stress and increasing bonding between them. When it comes to the nature versus nurture debate, dogs' communication abilities have genetic and learned components. Their genetic basis influences behaviours related to human communication, with dogs responding to human-initiated communication from an early age, but potentially needing time to initiate communication themselves. Understanding these aspects of basic dog behaviours can significantly improve our relationships with our furry friends, enhancing our ability to communicate and connect with them on a deeper level.